When we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. You're watching Septum Sin vs. the World. I'm Septum Sin. I'm here with Kotobuki Jake. Hi. And we're here to let you know about those individuals who have left us mm -hmm. this week. Mm -hmm. Now, there was one that we neglected to catch that uh, just came up on Anime News Network. And uh, we'll go ahead and start with that one before we go into the parade of the others. Okay. Well, actually, it's two of them. Um, one of them probably... Oh. Might have gotten overshadowed slightly given that the fact that she passed on the same day as Sandra McCain. And partly due to the fact it's the end of the week. They're not always fully updated. And the news out of Japan sometimes is a little bit behind. Anime News Network is real good about listing these people. But sometimes they're a little behind. But on August 25th, a big name in Japanese voice acting, Miyoko Esso. She was 92. She apparently uh, passed from dementia, basically. She just, mm. she's old. <laughs> um, but she lived a full life, including at least two pretty iconic roles. She was one of the few cast members in Full Metal Alchemist who not only returned in Brotherhood, but returned as the same character. Because for some reason they mixed them all up. But she plays Winry's grandmother, Pinako Rockbell, in the, that series. And prior to that, in Ranma One Half, she played Cologne, the cantankerous grandmother of Shampoo. Uh, so those are some huge <coughs> roles. Any anime geek worth their salt knows those shows. Um, and she had a lot of other roles over the years, too. So that was a big loss to the anime community. Another one that was a little more off-center, and actually the uh, wiki list that we use still hasn't updated to include this person, <laughs> So, but Anime News Network did, <clears throat> Yuki Aoyama, a drummer who was uh, part of the group Nano Right, but who also worked with a bunch of other groups, including Jam Project, which is a huge group. Uh, she was only 29. She passed on August 21st. I, I don't really know what from, but that's, you know. Yeah. That's, 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 that's young and um, unfortunate as well, you know. But at any rate, uh, those we wanted to go ahead and make sure that they got oh, a yeah. shout out, even if it's a little late. And for this week, we were wrong. It did not come in threes when it came to the big names, as you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at who has left us mm -hmm. this week. She was living on couches that belonged to her friends. She would sleep with her feet in the shins and you know for the ends. Looking over her shoulder, never knowing herself. I think she could never fit in till somebody knew.
start with i guess the uh one of the three thomas rickman mm -hmm. uh he has died at 78 of cancer and uh he wrote he was a screenwriter and a couple of his more famous films would be the coal miner's daughter wasn't that an oscar winner I at least a nominee i, I believe it was yes yeah. and hooper mm -hmm. both of which are incredible films Hooper has got at least Criterion release. I don't think it won an Oscar, but I know that it was very well loved and regarded. Oh. It does have a Criterion release? It does have I'm a Criterion have to, release. I'm going to have to get that. Because I've seen that one. Yeah. Yeah, that one or Hoop Dreams. I can't remember which well, one. Well, Hoop Dreams did, yes. Yes. One of the few docs that's gotten one, but yeah. But yeah, definitely. So, um, oh, no. Go to you. <laughs> well, speaking of Hooper, I'm sure you saw... The big name I referred to. One of the big, big mm -hmm. actors in the 70s. And at least reasonably well mm -hmm. known right up into the 90s. Even though a series of a combination of so-so uh, roles and a I don't give a damn about Hollywood attitude he kind of fell off the map but became, but remained a famed part uh but burt reynolds passed away at uh age 82 um i believe they said it was a heart attack yeah heart attack um and he uh <clears throat> i mean obviously again hooper uh, if i recall correctly it was a movie about the stunt industry in hollywood and he plays a stunt man and Reynolds was famous for doing a lot of his own stunts, uh, particularly when it came to driving. He he was very confident at, behind the wheel of a car and did a ton of his own driving stunts. And you know what? Between this and uh, something we're going to talk about on our vlog cast, if, you know, so tune in. Uh, the Oscars is going to have to rethink their awards. Yeah, this would be the ideal moment to step up and listen to all the people clamoring for a stunt actor award yeah I you know agree. that but at any rate <laughs> um and and from what i understand hooper was all about that about, oh yeah you know so i want to see that movie but the fact that the star and screenwriter died at the same week that's just i hadn't even realized that until you mentioned <laughs> that that's crazy but um so reynolds of course you know big 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 name i grew up one of the shows i watched when i was younger you know, he's always going over that stuff he watched when he was younger. I watched a little <laughs> show called Evening Shade that I think no one even remembers. I remember it fondly. I want a good, solid DVD release so I can get that show. I'll probably watch it and go, why the hell did I enjoy this? I, you never know with nostalgia. Yeah. But this was one that Reynolds <clears throat> produced, and I think he got an Emmy for it, or he was up for an Emmy. And, of course, he was up for an Oscar for a role that he fired his agent for getting him for him. So, yeah, well. <laughs> but uh, at any rate, yeah, so that was a, the big name of the week. <laughs> so in lesser names, um, Christopher Lawford mm. died at age 63. He was an actor best known for his roles in Terminator 3, 13 Days, and All My Children. He also died of a heart attack. Hmm. Well, that's kind of hmm. right. Uh, you you came up with a couple of interesting ones that, that he had role wise. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I just thought it would it was interesting. I, I mean, I'm familiar with a couple of those. Mm -hmm. I was familiar with the roles he had in, in both that yeah. and all my fan, all my children. Mm -hmm. uh, not as familiar with Thirteen Days. I've seen Thirteen Days. It's notable as <laughs> one of the few Kevin Costner films where his accent does not dramatically mar the movie yeah. <laughs> but he uh it was a good movie actually it was really yeah. well done um i can't remember what role he played but it was like a it was like a a lieutenant uh, like a um whatever um some military <laughs> officer some military officer let's put it that way uh, you can't handle the truth <laughs> not that one you can't handle the truth <laughs> all right 
Is that all you got on him? Uh, yeah. Okay, and the last one, I'm going to be honest, this is one of those ones where I was not very familiar with the name beforehand, but I feel absolutely compelled to talk about it for other reasons. Uh, not the least of which is the fact that rapper Mac Miller was only 26. Way too young to be dying, you know, and um, and he, he looked young. I was, I was watching some videos and, like, he just looked young, but... Um, I, and like I said, I was watching some videos in preparation for this. He was a very gifted rapper. He had a very, very good rhythm and, you know, his ability to deliver, much better at delivering dialogue than we are. Uh, but he, um, the songs I played, to me, it's not like something that I would have picked him up as the greatest musician ever, or the, you know. But it's something that I could probably become fond of over time. But I know people who probably thought he was awesome. But he, and again, I recognize his skill. But I do want to recognize that um, he openly struggled with substance abuse. He, uh, he, the, the family is being very tight-lipped about what his actual cause of death was. But this is something that I'm becoming very personally familiar with, unfortunately, and it's, um, it sounds like that was probably what it was, but I definitely, I, I, I give the guy props for being open about it and, and not trying to, you know, hide and whatever. And it's unfortunate that he ended up losing the battle so early, but, um, and Ariana you know, Grande has yeah. a, has a tenuous connection with them. They dated for a while, and now people are hating on her. And it's like, people don't do that. People Just, are blaming yeah. her for, like, hooking him up with the substances. Yeah. But uh, at the same time... It's never that easy. It, it's, it's... You, you gotta yeah. take a little bit of blame personally for yeah. it. And it's really a lot of the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that there's a pattern of... For a while in the aughts... <laughs> I've started to hear that that the way that it's referenced as the aughts. <laughs> uh, rap had actually started to move away from the rappers living, uh, living uh, hard and dying fast mm. approach. And it seems that as we've gone on, they are returning to that time. <laughs> dying in shootouts, drug overdoses, and whatnot. And many of them dying fairly young. I mean, you've mm -hmm. noticed this too. There is a, there is a trend for rappers dying on a regular basis on this. Uh, we don't like to joke too much about this, but there has been sort of some gallows humor and that they do seem to be the youngest that we note in most cases. And again, this is more of a serious note. I'm not right. trying to make a joke out of it. Right. It's something that I feel like that culture is part of what's doing it that return to that self-destructive culture i mean it was the same thing with rock and a lot of other places it was a, a culture of self-destruction yeah i was gonna say i do not think you can definitely pigeonhole it wasn't, this into the rap culture thing it wasn't as much now a no. lot of the shootouts yeah that well, is more, more so. that, yeah because a lot of that again the gangster the gangster mentality right. but at the same time this is something we do not want to see a return to uh, these are people who have talent and talent to a particular group mm -hmm. and these people need to live to continue to spread their talent mm -hmm. besides they should be enjoying their money in other ways <laughs> you know, they're not enjoying their money doing this yeah <laughs> that's that's not you know definitely not the case in most cases but it's just yeah. not a it's just not a good way to go <laughs> mm -hmm. so uh one last mention one mm -hmm. that was bigger than burt reynolds to me in my youth <laughs> um but did he have as big a mustache and that was bill daly mm. bill daly died of 91 and i did not find the cause of death mm -hmm. but when i was younger i lived off a of nick at night I was in my teens, so, you know, it's kind of strange. Teenagers were meant to do the partying hard, try and sneak out, and live the, the party life. Mm -hmm. 
Me, I party. enjoyed just sitting in, watching the old shows, Mr. Ed, Mary Tyler Moore, The Munsters. Uh, but I also really enjoyed I Dream of Jeannie and, to a lesser extent, The Bob Newhart Show. I have a more interesting connection to The Bob Newhart Show now mm -hmm. than I did in the past. But I really liked Bill Daly. He was great as a comedic actor. He will definitely be missed. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, do you have anything else? Um, no, I think that pretty much covers it for us uh, for this week. Um, there were a fair number of people, a fair number of uh, broad cross-section from yeah. different areas of the world and different areas of entertainment. Um, but I have to admit, relatively few of them are ones that I knew by name. But as always, we like to give them a little shout out such as it is. <laughs> yeah. So with that, we will see you mm -hmm. on the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.